Now that we have our table of authorities, we want to format it so it matches the format of the rest of the document. Now, we don't want to simply highlight and change the font. If we do that, the next time that we have to update the table of authorities, and we'll be doing that a lot, we lose the formatting. So we need a way to format this in a way that's going to be permanent. So let me undo that. To do that, go to Insert, Index and Tables. Make sure the category All is selected. Then you're going to click Modify. Now here we're going to need to edit two things. TOA Headings, which is the Cases and Statute part, and Table of Authorities, which is everything else. So we'll start with TOA Headings, go down to where it says Modify, click Modify. Now here we're going to change the font to Century Schoolbook, font size 12, and let's center these. Let's also put a little more space after a uh, little more space after cases and statutes. If we wanted to do that, we can click paragraph and increase this ever so slightly. Hit OK. Now we want to format the rest. Click table of authorities, modify, change the font, change the font size. And here to make it more readable, let's add a, a good bit more space between all of the cases. So go to Paragraph, and let's increase this to 18. Hit OK, 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 and we can cancel. Now if it does something uh, surprising like this, simply right-click, Update Field, right-click here, Update Field, and now it looks exactly how we want. Now the nice thing too is every time we update, it will retain this formatting. So that's how to format a table of authorities.